Dad, under some things. Go for it. <laughs> I need a glow up to help me. I'll help you. Episode 7, Egg in the Bottle. For the egg in the bottle experiment, you're going to need some matches, a glass bottle, and a hard-boiled egg, which you're going to start off by cracking. And you want the egg to be uh, a little larger than the opening to the bottle. I went ahead and cut my matches because they were a little bit long. And what you're going to do is drop the match into the bottle and then quickly place the egg on top and observe what happens. So it would seem that the egg is getting sucked into the bottle. Uh, that's not exactly what's happening here. Uh, the explanation is a little technical for elementary school science, but I'm going to go ahead and try to explain it the best I can. The motion science! So let's try to break down what's going on here. Before we even get to the bottle and the egg, let's take a look at this match. Once wood starts to burn, it goes through a chemical reaction called combustion. The wood, which I've shown simplified here as a glucose molecule, is reacting with the surrounding oxygen in the air to produce carbon dioxide and water. Now this reaction can continue as long as there is still wood to burn and sufficient oxygen in the surrounding environment. We'll get back to this later. Taking a look at our bottle, it's not empty but rather full of air, which is a collection of mostly nitrogen and oxygen molecules. As we introduce our match and egg, we're going to use this illustration to break down the different physical and chemical changes that are taking place. Let's go ahead and start with the first and most significant physical change to happen to the air in the bottle. As the match is dropped in, the air inside is quickly heated up. Temperature is a measure of the speed at which the molecules of a substance are moving, meaning the higher the temperature, the more quickly the air molecules are moving inside the bottle. Faster molecules collide more frequently, with more force, not only with each other, but with the container that they're in. We measure this as an increase in pressure. Higher pressure inside the bottle than the surrounding air pressure outside the bottle means air molecules are gonna get forced out of the bottle. Remember from the can crush episode, matter flows from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure. You can observe this when the egg is first placed on top of the bottle and kind of jumps around a little bit. Uh, this is actually air leaving the bottle until the pressure inside is in equilibrium with the pressure outside. After the egg settles down, we can take a look at the chemical change that is occurring with our match. As we learned earlier, wood will burn in combustion as long as there is oxygen present. The problem here is that the bottle has a limited amount of oxygen that gets used up fairly quickly as the match burns. Once the oxygen is depleted, the match will go out. Now, our final change is again going to be a physical one in the form of a drop in temperature. Combustion has stopped and the air is no longer being heated by the flame. Lower temperature means slower molecules, which has the opposite effect of what we saw at first on collisions, meaning the pressure in the bottle is going to drop below the surrounding air pressure. Air wants to get in, but there's an egg in the way. So what does it do? The air pressure outside the bottle pushes the egg into the bottle, and once through, the pressure equalizes, which is that popping sound that you hear. We're not quite done yet. How do we get that egg out of the bottle? Pause here. So it's a little hard to tell what I did there to get the egg out, but let's use another illustration to see. Most people probably are going to guess that you need to suck the egg out. Let's see what would happen if I did that. Pulling air out of the bottle and into my mouth and lungs will remove molecules from the bottle, decreasing the pressure inside. Does matter flow from low pressure to high pressure? No, so it won't work. Now the opposite, I blow air into the bottle. What happens? I force more air molecules from my body into the bottle, increasing the air pressure inside. Higher pressure inside the bottle than the surrounding air pressure pushes the egg back out, much in the same way that it got in there in the first place. Your egg is still perfectly fine to eat, so give it a good rinse and enjoy. I hope you enjoy this experiment. It's pretty fun. Thanks again to my family for helping me out, and let me know how it goes.